However big or small, our home should be a haven. There's a thousand jobs I need to do around the house. We just don't have the time. But it's not always easy keeping a house in order. It's such a shame we're not using the space. It is absolutely rammed full of stuff. But help is at hand. That's a fantastic piece of furniture. Look at this! A slug! That is solid. You can take back control of your home Ta -da! with clever, common-sense hacks. It's perfect. I love it. That don't bust the bank balance. And the best thing, you still got all of your storage. From this to this. That is just gleaming. That'll do nicely. Oh, my <laughs> God! We'll show you how you can make life-changing improvements in just one day. It's nice and clean for Mummy! Yay! I absolutely love it. I don't think it's ever looked that good before. <laughs> With better use and a spruce-up of your space. It's wonderful. I love it. You managed to do this in a day. This is absolutely brilliant. Are you getting me all tearing off? Our team of experts is here to help. The old tool belt's coming out. Well, That's how I know you're serious. Master builder Tommy Walsh brings over 50 years of DIY experience. Solid as a rock. Maxine Dwyer runs one of the UK's top extreme cleaning companies. That's what I mean by squeaky clean. And creative carpenter Asher Edwards prides himself on being a perfectionist. I am good. Just a little bit. Cheers. 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 <laughs> so who's in need of the team's expertise today? Hi, my name's Jan. This is my house and uh, it needs some tidying, as you can see. Working seven days a week in more than one job and living on her own has left Jan with little time to keep on top of things in her three-bedroom house in London. It makes it very difficult to have time to really do housework properly, putting things away. Um, I do try and keep it reasonably clean, but it is very much the bits I can see, and when I do get to tackle a task, I'm usually too tired to actually finish it and do it properly. Jan has lived in the same home for 30 years, and the decluttering process that's often part of moving house hasn't happened. This is my spare room, which, as you can see, has been used as a bit of a dumping ground. It's felt old-fashioned and it's dated, and it's full of mess. Uh, everything is just everywhere, and, not, and all the cupboards are full up, so there's nowhere else to put them, really. It needs a lot of organising. Many of Jan's belongings are precious to her, but can't currently be enjoyed. Well, this is my bedroom. Plenty of space, lots of storage, really, but they're all full up to the brim. I have a clothes rail in front of the window and been like that for some while now. And consequently, don't remember when I opened the curtains because I don't want the, uh, the sunlight fading all my clothes. The overall effect makes it hard for Jan to switch off after work. It's such a large room, really, and it should be a, a real haven um, it, it's a little bit claustrophobic with all of the clothes and belongings everywhere. They do tend to sort of feel as if they're coming in at you. She sometimes struggles to find things. I know I've got something and I have to rummage through all the different things on the hangers or I have to rummage through the drawers to see where I've hidden things. It hasn't the time to carry out a deep clean. Uh, it's also very makes this very difficult for cleaning. Um, everything is behind something or buried under something or difficult to reach. Be fantastic to get somebody to help me to to address some of these problems if you could start from a clean slate it would be really beneficial for me and uh, I'd have a chance of actually keeping on top of everything it's the day of the big clean and fix I'm genuinely petrified I like to control what I do normally which is completely out of my comfort zones but obviously going for this in the first place with the team arriving shortly, Jan heads out to give them free reign. To prove you can make a difference to your home in just one day and on a minimal budget.
The house is just along here on the right, if I remember. Okay. Yeah. That rendered one, yeah. Yep, this is yeah, us. So if everything's backwards, it's just quite well. tidy here. Yeah. Looks like this is their gym as well. I say there's a few storage issues here. Wow. Maxine! How am I going to tackle this? Look, tons of paperwork. Look, paperwork, paperwork. Buried clothes. Shoes. I don't know whether this is a bedroom or a wardrobe. Hmm. More clothes, more shoes. No light coming in because the clothes are blocking all that out. Oh, and vanity unit over there, all fitted. Trouble is, she obviously has storage issues here. Maxie, come have a look at this. Right, Tommy. Tons of clothes, shoes, books, makeup. Ah! Oh, come on, that's heavy. Woo! Dust! Ah! I wonder how long since these curtains have been pulled open. Oh, yeah, there is a bit of dust there. Yes, definitely. Look at the dust in this. Very dusty indeed. This must be really difficult to get you to clean. I don't think she can clean it. I think we have to be honest about what we can achieve in this short time today. And I think what we should do is concentrate on the upstairs to try and make it a bit more comfortable, nicer place for her to be when she's home. Because yes. she's, she's out of work so much. Yeah. With the problem areas identified, the team have their missions for the day. Tommy and Asha will rethink the second bedroom to see if it can answer some of Jan's clothing and shoe storage issues. And give the decor an update. Maxine will transform the master bedroom from a dusty space filled to bursting into a clean and tranquil haven and any clutter will be set to one side for Jan to go through later. Need me tool belt. All this in one day and on a limited budget. They'd better get moving. And up. Uh, uh, uh. Muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Just make some space. Oh, my life. But before the team can get started with their cleans and fixes, Grab this piece, oh, please, oh, before the it. two key spaces no. need a clear out. Forgive me. The excess belongings are moved into the third bedroom and downstairs for Jam to go through later. Oh. There you go. Thank you very much. Spin around. <laughs> Asha. Hello. What have you got planned for this room? So I've noticed she's got a lot of shoes and she likes to hang her clothes. So I'm going to do a little something, something over here and here, give her some hanging rails, and I'm going to make her a nice mirror feature on this wall. Utilising this PowerPoint here, I'm just figuring out how I can do it. Around 70% of homes in Britain have at least one spare bedroom. As Jan lives alone and has two spare rooms, Asha has decided to convert one of them into a dressing room. Looking to paint this up, though, so... Well, I could start painting it if you're... We've got to rub it down first. Yeah, we've got to give it a light key up. Well, we'll have to get the bed out. Yep. Because, you know, so we can put dust sheets down away. Feeling strong? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In the master bedroom, Maxine starts by shedding light on the situation. I wonder when the last time these were washed. The curtains that have been closed for so long understandably need some attention. There's so much dust in here, look at this. Do you know what this dust is? Well, it's dust from the fibres and from your skin. Yes, and it's got dust mites in it. So, when it goes in your eyes, you start to sniff and you think you've got a cold. Dust mites are tiny relatives of the spider, which feed on flakes of skin. 
They thrive in humid and unventilated spaces and are a common trigger to asthma. So I'll soon start snivelling. While most air curtains are machine washable, it's best to avoid using the tumble dryer and never wring them out, as they can be delicate. So there you go. That's going to be washed. It's supposed to be white, but it's grey. Since 60% of house dust comes in from outside, net curtains will handily trap some of that material. Because it's been covered up for so long. Though of good quality, the main curtains feel neglected too. Hair, fluff, and dust mites. She's sleeping in here, and people don't realise what they're breathing in when they're sleeping. It's unreal. This is what you're breathing in, my dears. So it's every six months, please, dry clean if you can, otherwise make sure you vacuum. In the room next door, Tommy and Asha embark on addressing one of Jan's other concerns. This is my spare room, which, as you can see, has been used as a bit of a dumping ground. It's felt old-fashioned and it's dated, and it's full of mess. Well, we're tight for time. We better get moving. Wood panelling like this appeared in millions of homes from the 50s. Though it's now considered dated by some, it's worth thinking twice before removing, as you may have to plaster the walls beneath. So when sanding down this cladding, it's difficult to get into all the nooks and crannies with such a big orbital sander. So, with my delta pad, I can sand in all the little nooks and crannies. Tommy and Asher have decided to sand and paint the panelling today using a contemporary colour. Once you've sanded it all down, then you have to wipe the dust off. And if it's water-based paint, then you can use water on a rag. If it's oil-based paint, then you have to use white spirit on a rag. So sanding down, wiping off all the dust with a wet rag, and then painting stuffs. The, the surface from getting all fluffy and furry. So take your time, prepare the surface to achieve the best results. While the boys are clearing the dust they've created, Maxine is finding more of the old stuff wow. in the main bedroom. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is just sheer dust. When you do these drawers, you've got these edges that will be seen, so you have to paint those the same as the face of the drawer. And if you don't, it will drive you nuts every time you open the drawer because you'll see that dirty finish and you've got white on the front. I think we're ready to paint now, Tommy. You reckon? I think so. Let's get the brushes out. <laughs> <laughs> this. Oh! <laughs> First off, not to waste any paint, use the paint up in the lid first before you start on the can, and then you won't waste anything. Giving the wooden panelling several coats of bright paint will also make the room feel bigger. Every home has some level of dust, which is a combination of skin cells, insect matter, soil and other contaminants. Oh, wow! You can find around six milligrams of it per square metre. I'm looking in the middle of the radiator. Ah! Hairs galore! Behind everybody's radiators, you're going to find dust. Some more than others. Um, so it is important to clean it every so often. A dusty radiator can even affect your heating bills, as it may make them 30% less efficient. Coat hangers are good for lots of things, and there you have it. Maxine has a hack to clear those hard-to-reach places. It's just a coat hanger with a microfiber. And that's it. And now I'm going to shove it in. Tie it up securely, otherwise it will get lost. Shove it in, take it along, pull it up, vacuum. It's not hard, 
you've got a coat hanger, you've got an old rag, shove it in, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Outside, Asher is starting to assemble the elements that will make up Jan's new dressing room. Tommy, can you throw down my glasses, please? We're about to cut some MDF. Safety first. Ready? Yep. Beautiful. Well cool. The design includes a full-length mirror that appears to float off the wall with the backlight. And a variety of ways for Jan to show off her impressive clothing and shoe collection. So I'm going to make a floating shelf to go just above the mirror. What I'm about to do is glue two pieces of 18mm MDF together. Here's the other piece. To create a nice, solid shelf. So because I'm doubling up the thickness, this increases the stability of the shelf. If I was just to leave it as one, over time, it will sag. Doubling the thickness of a shelf quadruples its strength. If you want to make it even more load-bearing, choose a natural hardwood like ash, if your budget allows. That's my favourite sound. So I'm going to pour some of this out on. Ooh, a bit generous there. Spread it out with my roller. Beautiful. It's important to spread it across the whole surface. Leave no area untouched. I'm telling you, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Spread that glue out everywhere. Asher has chosen a PVA glue that has a water base that evaporates. Look at that. Beautiful. Creating a bond stronger than the wood itself. Right, all I've got to do now is clamp it. You might be needing them. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> do you need a hand with anything else or are you OK? I'm good for now, mate. I'm good. OK. Thanks. Clamping the pieces together for 25 minutes gives the glue the best bond possible, meaning that Jan's shelves will stay strong. Back in the main bedroom, Maxine's doing the books. There you go. Gone. All gone. Some books smell musty. Let me see. These don't smell musty, but if it does smell musty, you need a box. You put the book in the box. You put a, a little shot glass of baking soda into the box, close it, and the musty smell will disappear. Keep the box sealed for a couple of days for the full effect. Gone! Storage space is at a premium in Jan's home. Well, this is my bedroom, so this room obviously has got far too many clothes and not enough storage. I have all these things, I need to put them somewhere. With half a century of experience to lean on, Tommy has a common sense hack up his sleeve. Asha? Yeah, hello. I think I might have a solution for this. If we take that top shelf out and refix the shelf halfway down the space... Right. ..you'll get double that capacity in here. I like your style. That's a good idea. All right, then, I'll make a start stripping it out, then. Yeah, let's do it. Mm, OK. Next door, Maxine's making headway with Jan's clothing collection. So these have got a lot of dust on the shoulders. And it's only on the shoulders because... This, these are crammed in together, so there's no dust in between, none whatsoever. But it's on the shoulders. And a lot of it is makeup. Look, because it's glitzy. What we do is we just vacuum them off with a soft brush. It's as simple as that. Vacuum off with a soft brush attachment on the vacuum cleaner. Even the hangers, vacuum them. Vacuum, 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 and it'll be gone. It is important to dust it off because they will be going into a new wardrobe uh, and there's no dust on the other clothes, so this will stay dust-free. 
It's important to use a soft brush so you don't mark any of the clothes. However, if you haven't got a soft brush and you're really careful, you may get away with using this. And you have to make sure it's clean as well. So of course, get a, a cloth and wipe all around it. But we've got the brush. If you do choose to store your clothes on an open rail, it's a good idea to get a cover to avoid them gathering dust and protect them from fading in the light. Look at this. Gone. And if you want to reduce the amount of dust coming into your house in the first place, leave your shoes at the front door. The clothes have been dusted and all the dust has gone. Beautiful. There you go. It's the end of a busy morning. Wow, this is crazy. We've got so much to do, it's unreal. And time for a well-earned break. Ice cream! Woo! <laughs> yes! Come on, guys. Ice cream. So how are you getting on in your room? Getting on good. Found loads of dust. Still got lots more to do. How about your room? What's happening? Well, we give it all one coat, repaired it, and give it all one coat, an undercoat. And we hope to get away with another coat on top, the top coat, but we can't. We're going to have to give it three coats. <gasps> so it's push, pushing us a bit behind, actually. It's hard work. We've still got the shoe storage, the mirror to go up. Yep. Can't wait to Think see it. Think you're going to like it. Oh. Think you're going to like it. Right, well, come on, let's get back Love to work. It. Come on in. In the master bedroom, Maxine is stripping the bed. So, pillows are to be washed once every three months. A third of your pillow could consist of dead skin, bugs, hair, and all kinds of nastiness. They look nice and clean, however, if they're not washed every three months, they could potentially harbour 16 different fungi. 16! Yuck! You can wash your pillows in a washing machine on a gentle cycle and on a low temperature, but do check the care label first. Tommy, can you lend me a hand, please? Tommy. Wow, this looks different, doesn't it? It certainly does. You're making a good job of this, Maxine, I must Thank say. Thank you. Wait, listen, we need to move fast now. Yeah. We have got to strip the bed, because I need to deal with a mattress. We spend around a third of our lifetimes in bed, and no matter how good our bed linen, <laughs> everyone's mattresses can contain some nasty surprises. Every 10-year-old mattress has approximately 10 pounds of dead skin. 10 pounds of dead skin? 10 pounds of dead skin. Oh, that sounds gruesome. Yes. They need flipping once every six months. Right. Yes. And of course, you sleep on it. And you know when you sleep, you sweat. So there's a lot of sweat in a mattress. The average person sweats 100 litres a year into their mattress, which creates the perfect environment for mould. Thank you very much, Tommy. I need to get to the... Fortunately, Maxine has a way of soaking up some of that unwanted moisture. One for you. To keep your bedding fresh and dry. We're not poaching any eggs, are we? Of course we're not. <laughs> Bicarbonate of soda will dry up all the sweat uh -huh. and make it smell nicer. Oh. OK. So what happens now? So... Put this in there and start sprinkling. Using a mattress protector will help create an extra barrier. Lovely. But do remember to give this a clean every three weeks or so. Lovely, Tommy. I'll switch over now and I'll do this off. The bicarbonate of soda should lightly cover the whole mattress. And if you want to combat bad odours, Maxine has a tip. You can put your favourite essence in, like lavender or chamomile in this mm. mixture and sprinkle it on. And then and that'll, that'll affect the overall smell, won't it? Make it really nice. It will smell beautiful. Oh, yeah. Good old vacuum.
Out in the fresh air, Asher is making progress on Jan's storage issues. Right, so I'm putting together a bespoke shoe rack for Jan. She's got an amazing collection of shoes that she's just got to want to put on show. I'm going to put two, a shoe, a shoe row on both sides of the mirror. She's clearly got a fashion sense. So having somewhere nice for her to display all her shoes just makes sense. Having a few key items on display should mean less digging around for outfits and more time for Jan to focus on herself. So what I'm doing is working out uh, the size of her shoes, working out uh, the right angle so we can put them on show. And then I'm going to screw two together so she can have a rail to display all her nice shoes. I think this is a nice little way for her to, to you know, when she walks into the room, she's got a nice wow factor, you know, somewhere to relax and unwind. On average, British women own 24 pairs of shoes. 80% admit that they own a pair they've never worn and most only use four pairs regularly. Where to store shoes is an often cited issue for those with dreams of a clutter-free home. Jan works non-stop, so she deserves a little treat in her life. It's hard working seven days a week, so it's only right that we do a little something nice for her. I think she will like this. With most of the dust removed from the master bedroom, Maxine now turns her hand to one of the sources of the dust. This is the culprit. Yep, powder. Lots and lots here, isn't there? Tons and tons of makeup. Loads of brushes. How many more brushes are in there? Have you seen any more brushes? The biggest problem I have when I'm upstairs is that, you know, to find anything, it, it, I put it everywhere. So everything I do is a struggle to get to something and clean it or find things. I I'd, would love to have a bedroom that's like a grown up bedroom instead of a big junk heap. I'd like to look like the, the lady that I like to think I am and um, not like a, a student room. Um, yeah, it's difficult to relax when you've got so many things around. Um, obviously, you look around and you try and ignore them, but they're there. Like many busy people, Jan's newer purchases have replicated some of those she already has. Yeah, there you go. Ah, ha, ha. new one. Nearly finished, brand new one. I bet you I'll find more brushes in here. Stiff brushes as well. Look at this. It's stiff. It's supposed to go vroom, But this goes in clumps. Look at this. Clump, 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 clump. Clump. This not even. This one isn't even clumping. Clump, clump. It's not doing nothing. This feels like it's brand new. Wonderful. That's how it's supposed to move. Ooh. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to clear this surface, sort out the makeup, and wash these brushes. The average woman living in the UK has 40 items in her makeup collection and spends nearly 400 pounds a year on products. Makeup galore, look at this. However, the majority of women use only 10% of their cosmetic purchases regularly, meaning that over a lifetime, nearly 6,000 items may have gone to waste prematurely. So I best to be careful with this. Now that the decks are clear, Maxine can make a start on reclaiming Jan's dresser from makeup marks and powder spills. She's using warm water and a cloth, but for more stubborn marks, you could use a little vinegar or lemon juice in the water. Use your fingernail and you just shove it in like this. There you go, how's that? Should work. Tommy's working to improve Jan's wardrobe in what will become her dressing room. So she can dismantle the clothes rail that's been blocking her window in the master bedroom. Tommy's rejig of the existing space should also house Jan's much-loved handbags. What I've done is actually taken the top shelf off that had the rail underneath it and moved it down halfway down the space. What it's done is got rid of any dead space. The drawers will go back into the very bottom. <coughs> she can use this for storage if she wants to or for her clothes. And the top shelf, which has uh, good storage for 
occasionally wanted stuff like hats and uh, and stuff. I mean, it depends how many weddings you go to, I suppose. But uh, flexible, practical storage for multi uses, and this is it. Perfect. Maxine plans to transfer Jan's makeup collection from the master bedroom into the newly created dressing room. Sort. It's time, isn't it? It's time to sort. Sort. But first, she needs to give the applicators a thorough clean. So, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm sorting through all the makeup and brushes that we found upstairs. Uh, some are to wash and some are to just organise. Lots of women would have things like this. The favourites end up getting really, really manky. They don't even separate anymore. And guess where you're putting this? On your skin. Yuck! So you are to wash them. To get your brushes clean, you can start with a little soapy water. What you need is some baby bath soap. Nothing harsh. Put a little bit in your water. The water's changing colour already, look at this. It helps to have something to hand that you can rub your makeup brush against. In this case, Maxine's using the back of a broken bristle brush. And this is what you do. You go like this and you twizzle it round. It's kind of satisfying as well. <laughs> wow! Yeah, you don't have to use this, but it's good because it's, it's kind of rough and bumpy and and gives the brush a good old pounding yeah absolutely filthy years of foundation and powder and you name it how often do people wash their uh, makeup brushes not very often so this is common it's important to use clean brushes and not only for smoother makeup application the brush may harbor bacteria that will irritate your skin or cause eye infections a bit more soap. See, as you're doing this, you can get right up into the fibres there. All that's left is for them to air dry for around a couple of hours. Oh, it's, yeah, it's squeezed out. So much lighter now. Lovely, very nice. Asher and Tommy have nearly finished decorating the dressing room, so it's time for Asher to install his full-length floating mirror. I'm not sticking the mirror straight onto the wall. What I'm doing is packing it off with this 18mm MDF. This gives me a nice gap, a shadowed gap detail around the perimeter of the mirror. Perfect for me to hide my LED strip around the edge. A nice little detail. Asher is certified to carry out this sort of task. And you should always get a qualified electrician for any electrical works. Back downstairs. These drawer organisers will help her organise all her stuff and it will also hide them away in the drawers and it will make sure they're dust free as well. It's important to keep track of when you first used your makeup as it does have an expiry date after opening. This one, 12M from Open. So once 12M is gone, bin it. How far are you off, Asha? We're running a bit out of time. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Just trying to figure out, should I go here or here? I'll go up one there, yeah. You reckon? Well, no, down there. I don't know. How is tall she... is she? Well, she's not as tall as us. No. <laughs> With the day almost over... One, two, three, hook. One, two, three, hook. Maxine hangs temporary curtains whilst Jan's originals are being cleaned. Oh. Asher's sturdy storage shelf goes up in the dressing room. Voila! <laughs> going to take these and put them in the wardrobe now, where they're supposed to be. A door to cover them up. Yes. So that they will now be dust free. Beautiful. 
and there's just time for some last minute adjustments. Nearly there. A few finishing touches later. And they're done. Glitz and glamour. <laughs> so, with a limited budget and just one day, what have the team managed to achieve? The master bedroom was cramped and dusty, with a clothes rail blocking the window rather than the clean and clutter-free sanctuary Jan deserved. Her second bedroom was underused and full to bursting. But now it's been repurposed into a modern dressing room with flexible storage that allows Jan to enjoy her clothing collection and gives her space to apply her makeup. Tommy and Asha depart. Good night, see ya. Good night. Enjoy. Bye -bye. Leaving Maxine behind to greet Jan. Jan. Oh, you too. How are you feeling? Petrified. <laughs> You're scared? Oh, it's just a big thing. It's my home. I'm sure it's improved, but I'm anxious. The transformation is unbelievable. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> do you want to follow me? I do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a new it's like a new house. <laughs> the bedroom was full of clutter and the window was blocked by a dusty clothes rail, stopping Jan from opening the curtains. But no longer. That's certainly a grown-up bedroom, isn't it? <sighs> yes. Yeah. Maxine has dismantled the rail, given the room a deep clean, and refreshed the mattress and bed linen. You've got a window. Oh, wow. Oh, that's ah. better. <laughs> <laughs> to create the tranquil space that Jan craved. Yeah, OK, I'm impressed. Ah, oh, you've got <laughs> your space the, back. The fear has subsided. <laughs> oh, good. Have you ever seen it like this before? <laughs> Maybe 20 odd years ago when wow. it was first fitted. Yeah. Um, wow. Now, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's impressive. We needed it to be tranquil and a, a room where you can just chill and relax and... It is clutter-free yeah. and that does feel nice. So, oh, yeah, you've, you've done a good job. Oh. Yeah. And we've got air coming in as well, I which know. is most important. Yeah, exactly. There was no air coming in. That's no. why dust was flying all over the place. Yeah, oh, I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's less busy, isn't it? It there is. There was yeah. too much. There was stuff everywhere. Yes, and now yes. It's peaceful. It's amazing. I mean, this is a grown up bedroom now. And, you know, it, it had become so cluttered that I was ashamed of it, really. You know, it was like a student digs or something instead of a, a lady's bedroom, you know. And this is nice. It's beautiful. It's clean, streamlined. And it's a grown-up room, and uh, yeah, it's lovely. <gasps> Are you looking forward to next door now? Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm less scared, so yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God! Wow! <laughs> the second bedroom was dated with brown wooden panelling and overflowing with Jan's belongings. 
and its storage was not working hard enough. Now it's modern. Yes. And bright. Yeah. And it's glitzy and glamorous, just like you, and just like your shoes and your dresses. <laughs> it's like a dressing room, isn't it? Wow. Exactly. Wow. OK. It's your dressing room, Jan. Tommy has increased the hanging space in the wardrobe, while he and Asha have created a dressing room where Jan can store and display her favourite outfits. Let me show you the wardrobe. Wow. OK. That's good. Clothes. They're dust-free. Yes. Yes, and they're behind the wardrobe, so yes. they will continue well, they to be, be. dust-free. That's amazing. That's... I can actually get them out and wear them now instead of having yes. to dust them off before I need to wear yep. them. Handbags. Yeah. Dust free. Yeah, and I can see them. See what I've got. Okay. You've got tons. That's what you've got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Accumulated over a long time. Yes. <laughs> Have a look at your shoes, Jan. I know. <gasps> That's a new pair. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your dresses as well. Beautiful dresses. Yeah, it wasn't what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but... And Maxine has rescued Jan's makeup from next door so she can pamper herself in style. Ooh. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's much better. I can see what I've got. Oh, yeah, yes. That's, now that's, yeah, that's, that's impressive. And the biggest culprit was... Your powder. Mm, I bet, mm, yeah. The powder was everywhere. Yeah. No, but it's yeah. here now. You use it and then you put it back. Yes. What do you reckon? That's much better. Oh. That's organised, isn't it? Oh, Jan. Oh. I'm so glad you've got your space back. Yeah, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's been it's... long awaited, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it has. And it's, yeah. it's definitely much fresher. It's, it's lovely. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for your hard work. It's been a long day for Maxine and the team. Have their efforts been worth it? Well, my bedroom now, it, it's lovely. It's clear, it's clutter-free, and um, I think that's going to affect me, cos, you know, clutter, a cluttered room does affect your life and how you feel. Uh, I think it's going to feel amazing using that room now. I opened the curtains. I can actually open it in the morning and see the daylight instead of just being in a gloomy room. And, and when something is little and you can clean it up, that's fine. But it's been such a big task that I just didn't know where to start. I didn't have the time to start. So now it's a nice clean slate and it, it's not going to go back to being cluttered and it's going to be kept tidy and clean. And that's just really lovely. So thank you.